enjoy because uh, it should be uh, it should be good. Okay. Uh, the following presentation might include information that is highly contested by the established con consensus, i.e., coastal elites. I couldn't read all that. You get the idea, though. Okay. Please watch. Enjoy. Since the Victorian age, humanity has given in to the illusion that there is a natural world which can be measured and understood. And through close observation, a resemblance of natural truth can be gained. Every corner of the world needed to be measured and catalogued. Through the times of further industrialization and the development of our modern society, many deemed truths of bygone eras irrelevant and dangerous, so they discarded them without asking. On the other hand, they accepted truths from periods more aligned with the political landscape of modernity without question. One question nobody seemed to pose and no one ever again seemed to doubt was the shape of our world. Although our daily experiences do not suggest that the Earth is a globe, everyone seemed to just believe it as a fact. Until one brave American decided to research matters more thoroughly. Samuel Robotham, also known as Parallax. Why has modern science failed to recognize the true shape of the Earth? Don't astronomy and the space programs clearly disprove what humanity believed in for centuries? Mm -hmm. The flat earth theory states that modern science is ill-equipped to answer the question because of zeteticism. Mm -hmm. A zetetic forms the question, then immediately sets to work making observations and performing experiments to answer this question. Mm -hmm. It turns out, we have been asking the wrong questions all along. Okay. All right, welcome to the Flat Earth Simulator. This is a simulator game, uh, which is also a teaching method to uh, help you understand that uh, you're being lied to and the Earth is flat. Here we go. Okay, let's see. What is this? Uh, hold right to mount. Okay, all right. This is the Earth. As you can see, this is the Earth. It is flat, obviously. There we go. Very good. This is this is the Earth. I'm going to click this. This is the moon right here. The moon. Mm -hmm. The moon is a revolving sphere. Yes. It has a diameter of 32 miles and is located approximately 3,000 miles above the surface of the Earth. Mm -hmm. The moon is thought to be spherical due to a slight rocking back and forth over its monthly cycle. Mm -hmm. The moon does not emit light by itself. It is lit by the sun. It moves from 3,000 miles to 2,000 miles over the duration of a month, thus causing the lunar cycle we observe as new moon, half moon, and full moon. Mm -hmm. It is still debated by many of the planar astronomers if the moon has a surface sufficient for anyone to stand upon it. Parallax theorized that the moon might not be as real as it seems. Moon's not real. For example, a strong, unnatural glow around its edge can be observed by anyone with a telescope or camera with sufficient zoom capabilities. Some citizen scholars investigating this interesting natural phenomena also agree that the moon is either a projection mm -hmm. or an atmospheric reflection of a body closely orbiting the rim of the Terran plane. Yes. But for the model of the monopole flat Earth, the mm -hmm. question of the moon's solidity is not relevant. In 1969, the moon was the setting of a fictional worldwide television broadcast mm -hmm. in which the United States of America, mm -hmm. more specifically NASA, mm -hmm. claimed to have landed on the moon. Uh -huh. The hoax was discovered by independent researchers, but many of them have since been silenced by NASA agents or pressured into publicly stating that they were wrong. That's true. That is true. Uh, yeah, so basically the, the moon is a lie. It uh, is probably not real. So, you know, now you know. The Antarctic ice wall, the cover-up. Oh, we should listen about the cover-up. Is there a way to spin it? Oh, there we go. Let's see. What can we see here? Let's let's just take a look at the flat Earth. I think it's an important thing to do, you know. What is this? The Antarctic ice wall, the summer gate, the moon, the cover-up, the sun, space programs... The atom plane. Let's go. Let's check out the sun. Let's see what the sun's doing. The sun. 
The sun is a revolving sphere. Mm. It has a diameter of 32 miles and is located approximately 3,000 miles above the surface of the Earth. Mm -hmm. The sun's area of light is similar to the spotlight of a searchlight. Mm -hmm. This means that only certain portions of the Earth are illuminated at a time. It also describes how night and day arise on a flat Earth. The apparent view of rising and setting are caused by perspective. Mm -hmm. Just as a flock of birds overhead will descend into the horizon as they fly into the distance. Mm -hmm. Together with the moon, the sun rotates around a mysterious central point of rotation. Hmm, so mysterious. What is this mysterious central point of rotation? What does this do? Oh! Oh, sun moon rotation speed. Can we speed this up? Ah, see, there you can, as you can see, the sun rotating around the flat earth. This is why this part in the middle is always sunny, because uh, the sun rotates like this, and, you know, the middle part is always sunny. It never has night or day, as you can see. This is very obvious, obviously. Um, let's go over here. Okay. Let's uh, let's find out a little bit more about this. Let's see here. The sun, the moon. What about... Uh, let's check out the summer... I don't know what the summer gate is. The atom plane. The cover-up. Space programs. Let's check out the atom plane. What's the atom plane? The atma plane. Oh. The atma plane, or atma layer is a series of gas layers above the inhabited part of the Earth. Uh -huh. If the Earth is finite, as shown in this model, the atma plane gets thinner and less dense towards the edges, where the Arctic ice wall stops the atma plane from flowing off the edge. Ah. If the infinite Earth hypothesis is true, the atma plane would possibly extend as infinitely as the Earth does. Oh. The atma plane is separated into the following layers. The tropo layer, where most of the regular aircraft travel, up to 11 miles. The strato layer, the highest ever reached layer by humans that can be reasonably confirmed, up to 30 miles. The extent of the meso layer and iono layer are still debated. Mm -hmm. Their existence is assumed by the phenomenon of meteors and polar lights. Ah, I see. That makes sense. What's this air balloon thing? What is this supposed to be? Is this the atom plane? Okay. Let's see. The atom plane. I want to know what the summer gate. No, no, the ice wall. What's the what's the Antarctic ice wall? The Antarctic ice wall. Uh huh. At the outer edge of the world, we find the Antarctic ice wall. Mm -hmm. The wall was first discovered in 1841 by the British explorer James Clark Ross mm -hmm. when he circumnavigated the edge of the known Earth. Though he thought himself to be at the southern pole because he simply followed the magnetic field which develops outwards from the center. Mm -hmm. The ice wall is, along most of its length, mm -hmm. 150 meters high, and by the description of Ross, an impenetrable shield of ice, snow, and rock. Several expeditions tried to reach the presumed South Pole until mm -hmm. the Norwegian Roland Amundsen staged a successful journey to the South Pole at one of the few places where the ice wall can be accessed. <sighs> Beyond the ice wall exists a mountain range up to 2,000 meters high. Beyond that, the theories vary. Some predict that there is a rim. Yes. Others theorize that the world stretches indefinitely. That's true. Today, a select few ships can visit the outer border of the planar rim. It gets sold as the southern tip of the Earth, but evidence suggests it is only the furthest from the center. True. If the Arctic ice wall is the outer point of the world, it cannot be clearly determined due to the fact that no one has ever crossed the mountain range to our knowledge. The extent of the Terran plain cannot be reasonably determined. True. True. Very interesting. Very interesting. What's the summer gate? The summer gate. In this model, the Terran plane is represented as a solid disk with an end and a start. However, this is not the only model. Out of a sense of fairness, we should mention the infinite Earth theory. Yes. It states that the Terran plane is not finite, and that beyond the ice wall, other lands exist. Other lands. The most popular of these theories is the Summer Gate theory. It states that the ice wall just near New Zealand melts during the summer and leaves passage open to another ring of continents on the Terran plain. True. 
these continents are lit by another Sol, Sol. called Bol, or Bol. Nemesis. The transfer will only be possible during summer as long as Bol and Sol are near each other. So only during a short night, a ship might traverse the gate and re-emerge in the light of Bol on the other side. True. Traveling to this gate is near impossible. While one can traverse along the Arctic ice wall with the approval of the UN, no expedition is allowed near the supposed summer gate location. This gives the theory credibility and raises one question. If the summer gate is real, what might lie beyond its path? Some theorize that the mythical places of Atlantis and Hyperborea or many of the other lost continents of history are just behind the Arctic ice wall. True. 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 Not allowed to go there. Why aren't you allowed to go there? That's the question. Why aren't you allowed to go there? Let's see. Sun, moon... Antarctic, uh, next clue in five, four, four. What the fuck? It says next clue in five, four, zero. What the fuck does that mean? What more clues? Oh, I guess I gotta wait then. Okay. Let's see. The cover up. The cover up. Yes. The fake space programs of NASA and the Russians are the reason why the weak sphere model has been propagated during the 20th century. Yes. NASA doesn't hide the true shape of the Earth. No. During their early fakes, they showed pictures of the spheroid Earth and are now stuck with it. Shit. Organizations like the United Nations even show the true shape of the Earth on their flag. True. Because the UN was founded before NASA, the designer of the flag took the model of the monopole flat Earth as a representation. True. Although by the mid-60s, most of those institutions had recognized the hoaxes of the space programs. Yes. They continued to support it. The immense sums of money that are invested by governments and corporations in supposed space programs are used, to a large extent, to pay off the officials and many people who know about the true shape of the Earth, as true. well as so-called educators on TV. Mm -hmm. In truth, an intricate web of lies has been spun to obstruct the public's clear view on reality. It's in the flag. It's in the flag. It is in the flag, as you can see. Space programs. Space programs. Yes. In the 1950s, during the Cold War, the two opposing yes. blocs of the totalitarian USSR and yes. the free world under the leadership of the United States started the competition of the supposed space race. Why space and its supposed conquest was so important was explained by Senate Majority Leader and later President Lyndon B. Johnson. Quote, Control of space means control of the world. The position of total control over the Earth that lies somewhere in outer space. This statement proves space was seen as an ultimate achievement, primarily on the grounds of propaganda and the invoking of fear of war capabilities. A few months later, NASA was established. The Soviets, meanwhile, resorted to their first hoaxes with a supposed Sputnik satellite. Mm -hmm. This was in reality just a radio transmission that was broadcasted by a high-altitude aircraft, as previously uncovered documents at the end of the USSR in 1990 show. However, these documents have since been confiscated by various actors. Most of the rockets tested since the beginning of the space race have been failures. Some observers see in modern rocket launches nothing more than oversized effect shows that shoot a rocket a few thousand miles into the atmoplane until it is out of sight for most of the observers, where it deploys its parachutes and drops into the sea or is destroyed. True. What was at first just a game of intimidation by posturing with so-called achievements in space travel developed into a huge financial scam during the 80s and beyond to the modern day where companies pay for satellites that would supposedly be put into orbit for up to $10,000 per ton of payload. Hereby, not only do satellite manufacturers and NASA profit from the fraud, mm -hmm. but also other new players such as SpaceX. Developing countries such as India also participate in the scam mm -hmm. in the hope that the huge sums involved would benefit their economies. 
Mm -hmm. A large community of citizen scientists do an excellent job in debunking many of the new fantasy space travel images from NASA and other agencies that are simply produced in their movie studios, while the transmission of satellites are just relayed through a global network of radio towers. There is no flat Earth conspiracy, but a fake space flight cabal that uses the illusion of space travel to make trillions worldwide. Yes, that is true. That is true. Houston, we have a fake. We have a fake, Houston. Next clue in 280 seconds. Really? Well, I'm going to wait for the next clue, I guess. What else can I do with this thing? Photo mode. Use WAC right when to aim. Oh, shit. Da 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 Back to menu, resume, sun size. Wait, so this doesn't matter? It doesn't matter moon size. Does this, none of this matters, I guess? It's just arbitrary? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What the fuck? Waypoints. Oh. Oh. All right, the next clue gets in 190 seconds. So we're going to wait for that. Sorry, we're going to we're going to wait for that for a moment. Just check out check out the flat earth for a little while, okay? This is very important. Just so you can understand. Can we go into the upside down? Uh no, I can't. I can't go into the weird stalagmite bottom part of the earth. I don't, I don't know why it won't let me check that out. Like why can't I see what's going on down here? So I, what I thought was funny is that like they think that there's like a like an infinite Earth. That's that's wild. You would think that people would like I don't know, just like fly in a plane and realize this or something. You know, it seems like a lot of people with very 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 basic knowledge of things think stuff like this. <clears throat> Uh, but they say I tried flying over and refueling and never saw the end. Oh, people tried flying over and refueling and never saw the end. Is is that true? I don't know. If this theory is correct, we never see a uh, always see a full moon. No, they explained that, man. They they totally explained that. See how the, see how the moon, like you know, like it's lighted by this side and then like it's not lighted or something, you know? Or oh wait, yeah, you would always see a full moon, right? Because that side's always lit. Oh, that's a good point. Now, nah, that, that's... The, the, yeah, there's probably an explanation for that. That'll probably come in the next... Uh, in the next... Uh, next clue. You know, the next clue's coming in 90 seconds. Don't worry. I'm sure that will... Uh, I'm sure that will explain everything. You know, don't don't worry about that. Everything will be explained by that, alright? It's, it's totally fine. Alright? The game is playing beyond the mountains is infinite land or an edge. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, 70 seconds. We're going to get the next clue. I cannot wait for the next clue. This is this is going to be the big one. All right. This is going to be the thing that changes everything. Just so you know. This is going to change everything. Forty seconds. Next clue. We're gonna get this next clue. It's gonna be crazy. Twenty-eight 
12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Next clue. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Job 385. Who marked off its dimensions? Surely you know who stretched a measuring line across it. What? The fuck is this shit? What the fuck? I kind of want to see the next clue. Wait, what? What? I need to get the Bible now. Job 38, 5. What? Damn it. Hmm. Where were you when I laid the Earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who marked off its dimensions? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? On what were its footings set? Or who laid its cornerstone? While the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy. What does that have to do with anything? Why is this important? Do I really have to wait 15 minutes for this next clue? I can't even exit out of this. Oh, there we go. I really have to wait like 750 seconds? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, I think we get the idea. I, th I think we get the idea. All right, this was the Flat Earth Simulator. Thank you so much for checking that out.